My name is Raf Hymas. I'm product manager for Massey Ferguson High Horsepower and Specialty Tractors here in Australia and New Zealand. And it is my great pleasure to introduce to you the new Massey Ferguson 8S. The new Massey Ferguson 8S is replacing the current long wheelbase 7700 range ranging from 205 horsepower to 305 horsepower. The way that the model designation is working is the first digit is the chassis size or the tractor class. The S denotes high specification and then the three digits behind that denote the max engine horsepower. So in this case, we've got an 8S 245, which is 245 horsepower. So a couple of things you notice right away are the big changes in the styling. First and foremost on the bonnet, the designers are using what they're calling Sabre styling, which is reminiscent of classic Massey Ferguson tractors from the past. Also, with the cabin, which we'll come to later, they've gone to what they're calling a Protect You cab. So a very large cab, separated from the engine, which gives it a very unique look. Also increases cooling efficiency and reduces sound transfer from the engine to the operator environment. So as we come round to the front of the tractor, we can note the front axle suspension, which gives you 140 mils of travel and has a full lockout function. And as we're familiar with Massey Ferguson's suspension already, it's a very low maintenance design for lower cost of ownership and ease of operation. We also have our front linkage and PDO. The front linkage has a lift capacity of 4.8 tonnes. The uh, front mounted PDO is counterclockwise rotating 1000 RPM and you've also got the capability of two sets of hydraulic remotes and although this tractor is not fitted with it, you have the option of an isobus plug at the front of the tractor for convenience. So the 8S includes a comprehensive lighting package. You'll notice that we have LED lights both in the bonnet, at the top of the cab both front and rear and at the sides as well as LED detail lighting just under the headlights there, which gives it a really nice effect and also very good illumination when working at night or in dim conditions. So with the new 8S, we're using the Agco Power 7.4 litre six cylinder engine across the range. And that goes from 205 horsepower to 305 horsepower whereas previously we used a 6.6 .6 in the 7720. We're using one engine now across the whole range. We notice a comprehensive cooling package up the front here, so air conditioning condensers, oil coolers, intercooler for the turbo up at the top there, all easy to access for maintenance and cleaning. Um, all of the maintenance checks for the engine can be done with the bonnet closed you're able to see your coolant level as well as your oil level on the left hand side of the block here. So nice and easy to do your daily checks. Also, we note that the air intake is drawn from the back of the bonnet here. Again, nice and easy to get hold of the air cleaner up at the top of the engine bay there um, for easy maintenance. As we continue around the new 8S, I'll just point out the, uh, the emissions control. And this is a feature that we're already familiar with with Massey Ferguson, is the all-in-one nature. And the main advantage of that is the forward visibility. It doesn't impede any of your vision going forward. The exhaust stack is tucked right in behind the A-pillar. And the other advantage is it's a fully passive system. So there's no maintenance required. It just does its thing quietly, unobtrusively, very, very convenient. Just behind the emissions control, we have this door, which has got all your battery, your fuse box, and all of those features tucked in there. Nice and easy to get to for maintenance purposes, just behind that door. A Couple of points about the rear axle. We have the ability to go to 16 tonne gross vehicle weight. Also, the ability to go to a overall tyre diameter of 2.05 metres. And that, that, combined with a wheelbase of 3.05 metres, gives outstanding traction and stability. We'll just carry on to the back and take a look at the linkage and hydraulics. We see our rear linkage, PDO and hydraulic functions. Rear linkage has 
10 ton lift capacity, which is up considerably from the previous 7700. Either a six spline 20 or 21 spline PDO shaft and a variety of drawbar options to suit any application. We have the ability for six rear remotes as well as power beyond and um, free return. Also got isobus capability and also the final drives are a new final drive design and they use the same braking as the 8700 range. Uh, important to note, either 150 litres a minute or 205 litres per minute of hydraulic flow. We also have a feature called uh, 205 Eco, which allows the 205 litres per minute of hydraulic flow at 1650 engine RPM for outstanding efficiency. Also for convenience, you'll notice on the rear fenders, we have control of both your, your linkage functions, hydraulic in and out, and your PDO on the left hand fender. On the right hand fender we've got the same functions but without the PDO option. Also we have a separate reservoir for transmission and your hydraulics, so you're not, you don't run the risk of contaminating your transmission oil by using the same reservoir. Also accessible from the rear of the cab, under this panel, is your cabin filtration. Nice and easy to access. Let's go and have a look inside the new cab. I'm sure you'll like it. So as we get into the cab, we can see the steps are incorporated into the fuel tank. Now, fuel tank itself, 460 litres of diesel, 43 litres of AdBlue. So your working day is nice and long. You're not going to spend a lot of time refueling. Let's jump in the cab. The first thing that you notice when you jump into this cabin is just the, the sheer space. There's 3.4 cubic metres of volume and it just feels enormous. The windscreen is, is tilted forward. It's just a, a huge, airy space. Right in front of you, you no longer have the dashboard. You're not looking through the steering wheel at your instrument panel. All of those functions are now over here in the V display on the A pillar. The controls, it's all controlled by this knob and the switch just here on the steering column. And then, so we can we see hectares per hour, we see hectares worked, see hours, fuel burn, and your linkage, and you can change those parameters through the settings. Coming back, we've got a completely new armrest with all of your tractor controls on it. So you've got entirely new multifunction joystick here with hydraulic controls on the little joystick up here. You've got all of the functions that we're accustomed to in a Massey, forward and reverse, your C1, C2 cruise function, your linkage controls, your steering, hand throttle, all right there. As we move, move further back, we've got our hydraulic joystick, two more hydraulic uh, remote controls here. You've got, you've got your front and rear PDO controls, all your lighting, your temperature functions here, your linkage control all of your, your throttle, your, your transmission settings, and then telephone and stereo controls here. Down here on the side panel, you've got your brake to neutral activation, hydraulic lockout, USB, cigarette lighter, linkage controls there again. Also fitted is a rail for mounting auxiliary displays and things like that. You've got the Datatronic 5 display, which covers all of your tractor functions, your isobus, and your guidance functions all in one screen. All of your hydraulic functions, so you can assign your hydraulic function to a particular control in the cabin, and then you can choose how much flow that you want at a particular time out of whatever remote you need. You've got a very wide range of outlets for your air conditioning. There's 14 outlets around the cabin, which will keep you nice and warm or more cool in the summer.
So I hope you've enjoyed the overview of the new Massey Ferguson 8S. We're certainly very excited to have it, uh, have it available and uh, we're looking forward to having stock in the coming months. If you need any further information, please don't hesitate to contact your local Massey Ferguson dealer.